Hi everyone, my name is Romain Michon and I'm a researcher and lecturer at Graham CNCM in France and at the Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics at Stanford University. Today I'm going to give you an overview of the gramophone, which is a digital musical instrument programmable with the Faust programming language. The gramophone has been created in the context of the Amstram Gram project, which aims at facilitating the teaching of maths and physics through the programming of the gramophone. The Amstram Gram website plays a central role, serving both as a pedagogical platform for teachers and students providing pre-written lessons and an environment to program the gramophone. A typical Amstram Gram module begins with a maths or physics teacher leads to the development of an audio signal processing algorithm that in turn is used to program the gramophone to make a custom musical instrument. Finally, students work with a composer to improve their instrument and to write a piece that is performed by the class during a final performance. The development of the gramophone was initiated in January 2019. We wanted this instrument to meet a certain number of requirements by being standalone, programmable with Faust, playable with one hand, quick at booting, robust and durable. Given the size constraints, the immediate boot time and portability requirements, we decided to build this instrument around a microcontroller powerful enough to carry out real-time audio DSP. The best candidate at the time was the TZ 3.6, which provided unparalleled computational power about 180 megahertz and support for real-time audio processing through the TNZ audio library as well as an audio shield. Our initial prototype was designed to be held as a stick and looked a little bit like a rattle or a pen. The only continuous controller was a 90 degrees of freedom motion sensor as well as a button mounted on the handle of the instrument. Its shape potentially limited the orientation that could be given to the object and mobilized all the fingers of the hand to hold the device. The second iteration of the gramophone solved this issue and gave access to a joystick that could be controlled by the thumb and the hand holding the instrument. A photoresistor was also added to the handle. All in all, we hoped for an all-in-one solution where the microcontroller, the motion sensor, the amplifier, and the battery charging circuit could all be integrated in the same board. Only a few months after the first gramophone prototypes were completed, Lilligo released a new ESP32-based board, the TTGO T-Audio. For only $15, this board hosts an ESP32 microcontroller with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and a dual-core processor operating at 240 MHz, a 9 degrees of freedom motion sensor, a battery charging circuit, and an audio codec with a built-in amplifier. We therefore saw it as a way to solve many technical problems that we had with using the TNZ to make our instruments. The final version of the gramophone is built around a Lilligo TTGO T audio board. It fits in one hand and can be easily moved around thanks to its strap. A photoresistor lands directly under the thumb of the performer. Similarly, a button finds its place under the middle finger. A rotary potentiometer can be controlled with the left hand of the performer. The gramophone benefits directly from the built-in 90 degrees of freedom sensor of the TTGO T audio board. All these sensors can be assigned to sound synthesis parameters directly from the Faust program. The gramophone is charged and programmed through a micro USB cable, which connects to the corresponding ports on the TTGO T audio board. A 2.05 amp per hour lithium battery ensures an extended autonomy for the gramophone, which can be played for about 24 hours in battery mode with standard use. A microphone can be used to process sound in real time. A dedicated rotary potentiometer can be used to control the volume of the instrument. Finally, a rotary encoder allows the performer to cycle around different files programs installed on the gramophone. The gramophone case was entirely designed in OpenSCAD. Since we never intended to sell the gramophone, we wanted to make sure that it could easily be reproduced 
and or modified using tools accessible to everyone. The source files of the gramophone case as well as the corresponding STL files can be found on the Amstram Gram GitHub. Since a large number of gramophones had to be made for Amstram Gram, about 160 gramophones actually, the 3D printing of their case was outsourced. Beside its TTGOTI audio board, the gramophone relies on a fairly simple electronic components like speaker, battery, potentiometer, buttons, etc. An exhaustive video tutorial on how to assemble the gramophone can be found on the Amstram Gram website. Assembling a gramophone from scratch takes about three hours. To make the 160 gramophones of Amstram Gram, we hired an assembler for a period of five months whose uh, role was also to test each gramophone after shipping. Well, before shipping, sorry. The Amstram Gram website contains dozens of gramophone program examples spread across a wide range of tutorials. Each example can be edited in a simplified version of the Faust Web IDE specifically designed as part of Amstram Gram. The sound corresponding to a gramophone Faust program can be heard and prototyped directly in the web browser. A Gramo button can be pressed to generate the firmware corresponding to the Faust program ready to be installed on the gramophone. The Grammo Loader is a software tool designed as part of Amstram Gram, acting as a bridge between the Faust Web IDE and the Gramophone. It takes the firmware generated when pressing the Grammo button and installs it on the Gramophone. Once the firmware has been selected once, it will be automatically installed on the Gramophone every time the Grammo button will be pressed. A Gramophone program can be as simple as this. In that case, the frequency of a sine wave oscillator is controlled by the rotary potentiometer of the gramophone and sound can be triggered by pressing the button under the middle finger. In other words, any Faust parameter can be mapped to a gramophone controller using a metadata. Standard Faust motion sensors like gyroscopes and accelerometers uh, metadata can be used to map the 9 degrees of freedom sensor of the gramophone to the Faust parameters. An exhaustive list of the gramophone Faust metadata can be found on the Amstram Gram website. Ah, and the gramophone can also be controlled using MIDI over Bluetooth. The programming limitations of the gramophone are directly linked to that of the TTGO T audio board. For instance, the limited amount of RAM which is about one megabyte, has also a significant impact on the kind of DSP algorithms that can be ran on the gramophone. For instance, long delays and echoes or complex reverbs will likely not work on the instrument. The same is true for table-based oscillators, but the Faust compiler now integrates a system to automatically adapt table sizes when using embedded systems requiring small memory footprints. Computational power is less of an issue, and the dual-core processor of the TTGO T audio board running at 240 MHz is powerful enough to run a wide range of DSP algorithms. Over 160 gramophones were produced as part of Amstram Gram to constitute gramophone backpacks containing 30 gramophones each. A gramophone assembler was hired for a period of five months to carry out this task. All gramophones are owned by the Amstram Gram project. We currently do not sell them since this would be too complicated for us from a legal standpoint. The pilot phase of Amstram Gram ended in March 2021 and was carried out in two different schools, targeting a total of eight classes, middle and high school level, corresponding uh, to about 180 students for a total of 80 hours of Amstram Gram sessions. From a technical standpoint, the gramophone and their toolchain proved to be relatively stable. Now that the pilot phase of the project is over, Amstram Gram will be implemented at a larger scale in a wide range of schools of the Auvergne-Rhône-Alpes region in France. The scope of the project had to be slightly limited, or adapted due to the COVID-19 pandemic, though. At this point, we consider that the gramophone reached a certain level of stability, and we don't plan to make any modifications to it in the future. 
We've been working on an adapted version of the Faust Playground, allowing for the programming of the gramophone. Unlike in the Faust or Baidi, Faust programs can be assembled using a graphical patching environment in the Faust Playground, making it more accessible to younger students. Our ambition is to add a hardware prototyping aspect to the gramophone uh, and to Amstram Gram uh, in general by offering the possibility to substitute gramophones with kits allowing students to make their own instruments using sensors and cardboard, a bit like Nintendo Labo. The programming tool chain would remain the same as for the gramophones. The development of these kits was recently initiated. You can find more information about this project in the paper associated with this presentation, as well as on the Amstramgram website. Thank you. I will now take questions.